Isba arrests three males, eight females for not fasting during Ramadan in Kano. Wow. The Kano State Hizba Board said it has arrested some youths in the state for eating in the daytime during Ramadan, which proves that they were not observing the fast, which is compulsory for healthy adults. But do they specify if they're actually Muslim? I mean, they might be. Yes, they might be in Kano. Of course, it's a predominantly Muslim state, but still. Um, the Director General of the Hizba Board, Dr. Aliu Musa Kibia, said those arrested in different parts of the state included three males and eight females. We will investigate, and if they have congenital reasons, we will release them. Those found wanting will be, however, enlightened and even prosecuted if need be. He said a woman should not be seen eating in public during fasting for whatever reason, adding that the board will arrest anyone found to be eating during the day. Fasting is compulsory for healthy adult Muslims in the month of Ramadan, except for travelers, menstruating women, or old people. Isba has been notorious lately for making controversial arrests in the state. But the Isba board is not officially part of the Nigerian government, so what gives them a right to do that? Sahara reporters had on the 25th of March reported how Isba invaded some off-campus hostels of Bayeros University in Kano, arresting students of the opposite sex found in the same room. It had been gathered that the incident happened at Danbare, a small community directly opposite the university's gate. The agency had continued to enforce Sharia law by going after stylish hair haircuts, sagging of trousers, playing of music at social events by DJs, and tricycle riders from adorning their vehicles with pictures considered to be obscene and against the tenets of Islam. You can practice your religion, but then the constitution of the state does not include Sharia law. I, I, I'm not, I, I don't, like, is this legal? Um, this was an addition to other unusual directives ruled out by the Islamic police. Isba recently made headlines for shaving stylish haircuts of young men in Kano and arresting people for improper dressing, the absolute audacity. A barber and his customers are also arrested for recently giving and having haircuts respectively, which were said to be offensive to Islam. But what if the person is not Muslim? They, they need to specify these things. Fine, it's in Kano, but still. They are also notorious for destroying truckloads of alcoholic drinks. Also in March, the Isba operatives had arrested two men suspected of sending pornographic materials to a married woman. The suspects were traced and arrested after the woman complained to the board. Well, I guess if the people find that, you know, again, we have to now decide what kind, what are we trying to apply? What rules and laws are we, are we trying to apply here? Because again, if the people agree that this is fine, they might as well just separate because not everyone will agree to be ruled or be, um, to be subjected to Sharia law and its enforcement. That's, 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 I would say that's strange. Uh, let's what the comments here say. The first person says, Nigeria is a doomed country. Two constitutions in one country, Sharia law in the north, Nigerian law of the land in the south, east and west. There is no way such country can progress. No way. 100%. So we really need to decide what do we want as a people. Uh, someone says, these people are not normal. Is it by force to fast? Is fasting a personal? Isn't fasting a personal and spiritual connection with God? I feel sad at the development hypocrisy at its highest. Who among this is bad personal is clean. But if you're Muslim, and yeah, but even if you're Muslim and you choose not to, I don't, I don't know how it works. Maybe you're, you are meant to. I don't think of forced to, but around the world, because a lot of Muslims do it. Maybe you feel obliged to do it as a Muslim. I don't know, but um. If you're non-Muslim, that's why I think it's a bit weird. But even if you're Muslim as well and you choose not to do it, I, I don't know how Islam works. I don't know if it's a must thing, but you should also have a right to choose not to engage in certain events. Somebody here says, that's why Odra People's Republic and Biafra agitators want a separate nation. May God grant these requests. Well, the fact is God can't necessarily grant these requests. We need to ask the right questions as to how we can separate. Okay, fine. You can pray to God. That's absolutely fine. But we have to make that step to make sure that change actually happens. God can't do all the work for you. Somebody says religion, religion is a personal consent. A believe 
a belief is only preached and the spirit convinces not false. We are led by the spirit, not by flesh, no matter which spirit we have. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, I don't know how the Quran works. I don't know, you know, verses or scriptures and whatever, but um, I'll leave this to the Muslims to, to, to sort of give their view on if this is normal or, you know, as a Muslim, if you're obliged to, you know, take part in the fasting or what I, I don't know i don't know but if for non-muslims and them getting arrested that's that's absolute bullcrap uh someone here says if this taliban in afghanistan britain will be up in arm about women freedom human rights and other self-serving speeches here in their pop-up kingdom they are mute about human rights abuses you better speak you better speak. absolutely 100 percent because it's it's again we have external connections who uphold these human rights whatever whatever when it comes to issues that benefit them of course they don't want to step in but when it comes to human rights and actually defending the people there they're they're mute as this person has says uh someone says even god said individuals are at will to serve him but which god like i we need to specify like they are gods and they're like what are you serving you know and i think that sometimes it's a bit I find it's a bit disrespectful to sort of use the logic or the knowledge of Christianity to sort of sort of justify or make meaning of of what happens in, in the in the Quran or in Islam because of what you know as a Christian. It could be very, very different. Um somebody says, just imagine that we don't have a system that will force behavior on into certain pattern just imagine our lives are completely left in the hand of eliza's fair system are we not in trouble well done his bar well again it's if it's if it's a country where i don't know how i don't know how the constitution works so it, where, except each state can do whatever they want and you know have their system of government but if it's a country where the people have decided this is how we want to run and rule that's absolutely fine if you feel that that's your prerogative. But Kano is not the only state in Nigeria. And so, again, it, in a way, it sort of deters people from going into the state because of the Sharia law enforcement. Because you don't know. So, is the police at work or is the Shari- is the is bar at work? That's what we need to ask. Yeah, so it, it is what it is. Um, it, I think this just an, is an example of how disorganized the country is. Yes, practice your religion, but when it comes to the laws and how the place is governed decide what you want is it going to be a religious country in terms of its its laws and everything or is it a democracy where diversity is allowed put what i think in the comment section below in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe